Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. How many of you out there are following me on Twitter now? I've only talked about it like 87 million times in the past two weeks. It's only the every other word that trickles out of my mouth. You know, not exactly true, but you do know that I use Twitter quite frequently to keep my friends up to date. I'm sitting inside my brother's house here in Des Moines, Iowa, and knowing that there are quite a few Des Moinesites, Iowans, let's just say, who know me or follow me either on Twitter or they know people who follow me on Twitter and they happen to be following them on Twitter, etc., etc., etc. Wanted to get together with these people, and so what I decided to do was Twitter the fact that I was going to be in Des Moines, Iowa for a few days, and ultimately we kind of stumbled into uh, you know an opportunity of getting together at a local bookstore the East Village Bookstore that is here in Des Moines, Iowa, right next to the Iowa Historical Building. Uh, I believe the new Iowa Historical Building, not that we had an old, well, we did have an old historical building, but our history is just, well, that history. So, uh, what we did was organize this impromptu event, which I did upload a video to tease and let people know what was going on and pointed you to uh, a website for the registration for that. Uh, and that really led me into this top five that I came up with on my way out here top five uses at least my uses of Twitter and that being one of them impromptu tweet ups or meet ups over Twitter the reason why I like tweet ups is that you get to meet people who know you or know people who know you who aren't necessarily like you they just happen to be on Twitter too Okay, so most meetups you have an affinity that you share with other people. If I said, well, let's get together, but I was only talking to a group of geeks, well, then the only people who were going to show up were going to be geeks. But on Twitter, well, there are more than just geeks. I mean, we're going to have lawyers show up tomorrow, which is kind of a scary proposition, but uh, regardless... Uh, people who are on Twitter will find out that something's happening in the Des Moines area and we're all just going to get together and meet one another. A lot of the people may have met each other before because there's actually DM TweetUp, I believe is the unofficial group of people who live in Des Moines, Iowa and are on Twitter. Impromptu TweetUp's great, especially if you're traveling. Number two, crowdsourcing questions and answers. Uh, I've done this several times, and I'm actually, you know, thinking about developing a service around this at the some at some point. It's also known as the lazy web. Uh, today, uh, Adam, my brother, whose house this is, and I were out and about picking up equipment for our impending road trip, and I was asking a question. You know, what's the best FM transmitter to get? And the, the answers came in. They were wide and varied. Um, I knew I was kind of shooting in the dark. Usually, I don't buy equipment without doing any kind of research beforehand. But Adam remembered, remembered reading a, a specific review about this unit, and we ended up getting it. And it's it's been pretty good, I gotta tell you. So we didn't do too bad. But if you're ever in a situation where you have a question, you can't find the answer, and you're relying on the wisdom of crowds, Twitter gives you the best way to get that question answered. Not only people who aren't following you can answer, but certainly you're going to be able to get answers to questions that otherwise would be nothing but frustrating because it, well, I, I should say the process would be frustrating because you may never find the answer that you're looking for and the answer may be relatively subjective as in what is the best FM transmitter everybody's going to have a different opinion but that being said if people have various opinions about one particular product or service I'll usually pay attention to those who repeat a certain name or brand or model over and over and over again, I mean different people mentioning the same product. That will give me some idea as to what happens to be the most popular and it's sometimes the most popular for a good reason. They have done research, they spent the time. Crowdsourcing questions is an excellent use of Twitter. Number three, airing grievances. No, this isn't just a festivist thing uh, and I don't happen to have a I don't happen to have my poll here either, but that's okay. I think Adam's got a Festivus poll somewhere. Maybe it's in the attic, if he has an attic. Uh, but when I'm on um, when I'm on Twitter and I feel frustrated with a product or a service, I'll throw it out there. I'll say, this is really making me mad, or, gee, I wish this would work better. I mean, I was in the airport the other day. I said, okay, earth to airports here install more power outlets or at least put them next to chairs or something along those lines 
And just airing that grievance, you know, made me feel better because I got it off my chest. And other people said, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, I, I wish the same thing would happen. And you never know who's going to see that. And I tell you, I've aired grievances and, and kind of complained uh, about certain products and services that I subscribe to and have been contacted directly by people who are in positions of power, like senior vice presidents and whatnot, S just by posting... Uh, uh, saying that I was complaining and explaining why I was complaining and being able to back up a complaint, you just don't want to complain without any reason. I mean, there's it, it's it's a perfect outlet for that kind of emotional outburst. That's pretty much what Twitter is, or at least has turned into, is the series of emotional outbursts. But you never really know who's going to see those things, and that's a good a good thing. Either it's cathartic in 140 characters or less, or you may actually find a solution to the problem or connect to someone who has a solution. Number four, alleviating boredom. If you're tired of visiting the same websites, going to the same places, seeing the same people, and believe me, I know you are. I don't know anybody out there who's seen every one of my videos, if even more than five, and I'm hoping you do, but anyway. Twitter is a great way for you to explore other people. It's a great exploratory mechanism. Uh, it's so simple. I mean, you stumble from one person to another to another, and before you know it, you've... you've come into discovering people you otherwise never would have met in any other type of social network, but as I've said before, Twitter's more of a social commons than a social network, at least that's the way I, I kind of put it in that bucket, because it, it's open for this kind of discovery and this ad hoc relationship model, which I've really appreciated a lot. Uh, and, you know, Twitter has certainly evolved, and in, in the beginning, you know, I treat it as, oh great, it's another service, but it really has risen above the noise that I've experienced in a lot of other social networks. If I, and I've said this, I believe, in video before, if not, then I've definitely said it live, uh, if I only had one to rely on, it would be Twitter, because the immediacy of it is so, and the immediacy, ad hoc nature is just so uh, strong, not only does it keep me from being bored when I'm, you know, connecting to the people who follow me or the people who read what I'm doing, but if I am bored, I can just look at somebody else that I'm not connected to and learn something new, maybe find another connection that I didn't have with someone else, but that, that exploratory mechanism feels open in Twitter more so than it does in other networks. I don't, I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's so accessible. I mean, there's, no, there's nothing there except for just what needs to be there, and that's, that's what makes it great. And that's, that's really kind of my fourth and fifth tip, you know, alleviating boredom by finding people you don't know. Two, two birds with one stone there. Um, Twitter can move mountains. Did I say that? I don't know if I said that. It's not, it kind of sounds lame like I said it, which, you know, I, I, I say lame things all the time. And you, sometimes you can find me Twittering lame things, too. So those are the, the top five ways uh, uh, why I found Twitter indispensable uh, to a large degree. I can't do everything. I can't pay attention to everything that people tweet. That's, I guess, the word for Twittering. I hate saying tweet. I don't know why. I don't mind the word tweet, but in context, it just sounds crude. Maybe it is. I don't know. If you're not on, if you're not on Twitter, it's like a, a brain fart. You know, it's a tweet. I don't know. Cause it's kind of anyway. Uh, if you're on Twitter, feel free to follow me. If you're not on Twitter, join Twitter and then feel free to follow me, uh, and I will automatically follow you back. That's the reason why I have as many people following me as I am following. I, I guess I've run across a script that allows me to do that automatically. Otherwise, I just couldn't keep up with the amount of requests. I've got like 9,000 people who are currently following me on Twitter, and I love every single one of them because I tell you, there's never been an audience that's been more reactive to the things that I've published. Never on my blog, not even YouTube, nothing other than Twitter. So i got to give credit where credit's due. Twitter's it for me. I mean, I, I'll join other networks too, but anyway, I'm just saying you can find me there. My username is Chris Perillo. Go figure. Gee, that was a stretch. Or my email address there as well if you want to add the email address is chris at perillo.com. You're also free to follow me with my live video wherever I happen to be, whether it's in Des Moines, Iowa, Madison, Wisconsin, where I'm going to be road tripping in a couple of days, or back home in the great city of Seattle, Washington. I'm hoping to be able to live stream anywhere, everywhere, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.